I've got a yummy TikTok try for you guys today. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I took a break recently from my little trying TikToks series to show you guys my pregnancy announcement and all of that pregnancy related stuff. But I wanted to get back into trying some things I've seen on TikTok. And today I thought I would share with you strawberry cheesecake chimichangas. Now, the one thing that is going to be changing based on the TikTok that I saw was I am just making one chimichanga. So I'm cutting the recipe uh, in like eighths and trying my best to replicate what this lady shared on TikTok. So let me show you what you need. So her recipe called for two cups of chopped up strawberries. So I'm using about a fourth of a cup. This was three strawberries, two large, one small. It called for an eight ounce brick of cream cheese. So I have one ounce in there and then a cup of sour cream. So I have one ounce in there. The recipe also called for a third of a cup of sugar, which I didn't know the exact way that I would cut it into eights. So I figured the easiest way is to measure out a third of a cup comes out to about 80 grams. So if I cut that in eighths, I only need 10 grams of sugar. So I will measure that out in a second. And then the recipe also called for a tablespoon of vanilla. So we're gonna go about a little less than a half a teaspoon of vanilla. So we're gonna mix this up until it's nice and smooth and then add in these guys. Now that I have that mixed up, I'm going to heat up just one large tortilla and create my little chimichanga. So the reason I'm doing this is because we had french fries, homemade french fries tonight for dinner, and I wanted to make use of the oil that we used up, and I thought that this would be the perfect time to try out this chimichanga recipe. So we got my little wrapped chimichanga now. I've got my oil already heated, and so I'm just gonna place my little chimichanga here and cook it till it's golden brown. Her recipe she did on the stove and said it should be medium heat, so I figured 300 degrees in my deep fryer should be good enough. While this finishes getting golden brown, I'm gonna prepare a cinnamon sugar mixture to roll it in when it's all done. So because I was using my deep fryer, the chimichanga actually began to float up because it was fully submerged in the oil and open up from the bottom. And so the tortilla was beginning to unfold and I tried my best to, you know, keep it deep frying and hold it down with some forks, but I ended up just settling on taking the chimichanga out of the oil, putting some toothpicks through it to kind of hold everything in place, and then putting it back in the oil to finish cooking. If you are frying yours in a pan, you probably don't need to do this just because it's not going to be fully submerged in oil. But if you have a deep fryer, keep that in mind. You probably want to use some toothpicks. This looks good, so I'm going to turn off the heat, unplug my deep fryer, lift this bad boy up, let it drip for a second, and then toss it in the cinnamon sugar, and we'll be ready to go. It is time to cut into this. Let's see if, if I totally screwed up. Nice crunch. Looks delicious. I'm going to share it with my family, and I'll let you know how it tastes. Okay, so I've got some cut up. I've already shared them with my mom and some other family members. They really like it. My mom said she'd buy it again, although I don't remember getting paid. <clears throat> uh, here's my first bite. The crunch is good. I like the combo of the flavors. Strawberry cheesecake, like with a churro, is kind of the combination there. I'd make it again using toothpicks. And that's it. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it or get plan on giving it a try, please give me a thumbs up. And if you guys are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.